There are three major pain points when taking the SAT chemistry exams. The first pain point is actually time. Time is very limited in the SAT exam. You have only 60 minutes to work on 85 questions, which is an average of 45 seconds per question. The second factor affecting your score in the SAT exam is the absence of a calculator. Without a calculator, most students aren't used to calculating on a piece of paper, and therefore they're not being able to work on their time limits well. That's why you need to practice mental math, which is really important in the SAT exams. The third major factor affecting your SAT scores might be the fundamental understanding of the chemistry subject itself. Some parts in the chemistry subject requires you to memorize and some parts require you that you have to understand the chemistry subject. It is really important because the rhythm when studying chemistry is a vital sign that represents which part of chemistry in the exam you will be able to perform well or not. Next, we'll be discussing about how do you increase your score based on the three pain points that we, should, we just mentioned. The first pain point, which is time, requires you to manage your time really well in the exam. One of the methods that I usually suggest my students are that we work on a system called the star system. Star system is basically assigning stars to each specific question based on their difficulties. One star represents an easy question, while two stars represents a medium question, and three stars represents a really hard question. After your first sweep of the exam, which should be done in about 30 minutes, you should be coming back to the first star questions first. After working on all of your simple star questions, you should proceed on to the medium ones and the hard ones, which are the last ones that you should work on. Regarding the second pain point, which is mental mass, mental mass is a skill set that needs to be practiced over an extension of time. But then an ex easy example is that when you do, for example, 17 times 19, you should not be scribbling down a lot of things on a piece of paper. You should be doing like 17 times 20, and then after that, taking that number, subtracting by another 17. The last and final pain point, which is the rhythm in studying chemistry, requires you that you understand some parts and remember some parts of the chemistry exam, like I was mentioning before. So, for example, some of the parts that you should be memorizing are like the precipitation table or the solubility chart, or another thing is like the colors of the transition metals. Those are the things that you should be memorizing, and there are no other ways other than memorizing. For the parts that you have to understand, for example, like bondings and like periodic trends and like the atomic structure, those parts are really important because if you start memorizing them, it will just slow you down when you work on the exams. The exam requires you a fundamental understanding on some specific parts, which is vital to get a good score on the SAT chemistry test. Last but not least, in addition to all the four mentioned pain points, every individual student requires something different when working for the exam. If there are any questions at all, you can just pop by at Ignite, ask us a few questions or any queries that are on your minds. Well, hope to see you guys around soon and have a nice day. Thanks for watching.